Today we're unboxing, building and painting the L2A3 from the Tommy Tech Little Armoury range. And uh, let's open up the box and take out our parts. Yep, got everything. So we get two um, main um, packets with parts. So the first is the main body of the weapon. We get our instruction manual. So this does come with two options with the uh, bolt group, the receiver group. Uh, you can have that all the way back or all the way forward. And there's also an option to have the stock folded forward or the stock um, in the deployed position. So there are two different parts there for that. So the L2A3, this was a replacement for the Sten uh, submachine gun and it's been in use, um, for, been used by a lot of countries over the years and some countries may still be using this. So this is a nine millimeter submachine gun. Now the uh, weapon also came with a bayonet, um, not really practicable to be honest on a submachine gun, but um, it was used on occasion with the bayonet for ceremonial purposes. So let's get straight into the build now. So removing the main body pieces from the frame and as always I'm using a model clippers for this. It's just a really fast and um, easy way to remove it. There's some excess on this part here. You can see where the trigger should be. That's just, we just cut that off. And removing the barrel. Uh, no, it doesn't look like a barrel, but uh, just that's because it's tiny, 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 being a submachine gun. And just use the Tomiya sandpaper sponge to send that down a bit. Okay, so just checking the fit there, making sure that all fits correctly. Um, this is something that I recommend that you do check once and double check twice that you've got the um, parts in the right way because as you're about to see uh, with removing the bulk group here um, I'll be putting this in the wrong way and I won't realize that for the entire build <laughs> until I've gone and done the um, the narration for this video I've then realized um, looking back over the um, instruction manual I actually put this in around the wrong way now it looks like it's in the right way, but it's it looks like it goes in the way I've put it, but it actually doesn't. So again, checking the fit here, but still not realizing that that um, bolt group um, is going to be put in the wrong way. But yeah, like I said, do check this. You can see I am doing it. However, I haven't really properly checked that I've got that other part in around the wrong around the wrong around the right way. So here it is, putting it in the wrong way. Don't do this, put it around the other way. So using the Tomiya glue here, this is just an easy to use glue, um, quite simple to apply in small areas. And putting in that bolt group the wrong way around, it should be the other way around. Now, just had some trouble with the barrel going on there. Um, it has got a little lug that it sits into, but it just wasn't um, sitting flush. So I'm just sanding that back to help uh, improve that um, that fit there. And I've just noticed some excess at the back here that I'm just removing just to help that fit work. Still not realizing that that receiver group is around the wrong way. So anyway. It's a learning experience. Okay. Okay, so we've got everything um, glued together here. You can see that, and I'm using a rubber band here just to make sure everything fits um, really nicely. And now we move on to the magazines. So we get two full size magazines that don't fit into the weapon, and one magazine that um, is modified to fit into the model. You 
Yeah, so I think this just il illustrates the point that it is possible to put these weapons together the wrong way with parts in around the wrong way and it might look okay at the time. Happens in real life too, you can put parts of a, of a weapon around the wrong way in the wrong order um, and it won't operate properly. It might look like it fits together but it actually doesn't work properly. So always worth checking that these things are going in the right way. Okay, so now we've got our magazines off, we're going to glue them together. And this is fairly straightforward. Not easy to mess this up and glue these things together the wrong way around. So just making sure they all fit together nicely. And uh, we're just about finished with the build now. So I have um, subsequently painted this with a gunmetal metal coat. And um, I have used some uh, metal coat aluminium on the spring for the, for the weapon. And you'll see that in the next shot. I think it came out quite well. Obviously a little bit disappointed I didn't figure out that the receiver grip was in the wrong way. And it's permanently glued in place now, so there's no way for me to really swap that around now. But it looks okay. Um, I'm generally happy with the build other than that mistake. But look, you learn from those mistakes. I think it's a great weapon. It's an iconic weapon. And I think it's a good one to add to your collection. Thanks for watching.